morning we are going to talk about uh, the intimate violence uh, family. So domestic violence is a pattern or behavior which involves the abuse by one partner against another in an intimate relationship uh, such as marriage. We are worried about the elevated percent uh, of domestic violence and for these reasons we are uh, doing a campaign against this. Domestic violence has bad consequences for people. Uh, we have a new statistics that indicate that domestic family, uh, family violence uh, in the main reason for seeking assistance on 2008. In the next uh, graphic, uh, we have that the major victim of intimate partner was the, was the woman having a rape and physical assault that the, how the more elevated percent. And in the, in the last graphic, uh, this in Australia, a statistic indicate that women between uh, 12 and 18 years old are, uh, have experienced violence during the last uh, 12 months. And now, my partner is going to talk about uh, the type of violence. Well, we must know that we want to reconcile the, the abuse in your family. So, we have uh, some uh, type of abuse. The first is for infer. Well, credit fair is the key of the element in the domestic violence because the perpetrator is uh, have the control to the victim. So when you credit fair, uh, the perpetrator create the control to this victim. So uh, the person think that had the control and that person and made some action that uh, considered fair for the victim. The other is the verbal abuse. Well, the, what they say, the the word, the verbal abuse is when the perpetrator use uh, uh, words that affect um, the victim. That maybe feel uh, more uh, slow the confident to the victim, and uh, also the verbal abuse. Uh, maybe uh, some example will be the nicknames, uh, shouting, uh, talk about uh, the problems that people have. So some uh, case. The victim have uh, a big nose, so the perpetrator talk about the big nose is the worst thing that the uh, victim has. Other uh, type of abuse we have the physical abuse. Well, uh, the physical abuse, like the name say, is when the person uh, have contact uh, with the big victim. So uh, this uh, abuse is the most. Uh, principle that uh, perpetrators make because it's the second thing that perpetrators do because the first thing was the verbal abuse. So in the physical abuse uh, we have a uh, uh, fight uh, the perpetrator to the victim and uh, like you can see in the image uh, we can see the abuse but the victim have excuse like I don't know uh, the sh in the shower I follow and, and the appropriate sports, and we, that is the reason that we have that uh, effects in my body. Well, the emotional abuse. Well, the emotional abuse is an abuse that we can don't see physical, but we can see um, some uh, characteristic, like a low confidence, uh, don't talk with the other persons, and we can see that emotional abuse is more that uh, affect the feelings of the person. So uh, the perpetrator, um, may, uh, it's a combination like uh, a verbal abuse and physical, uh, a physical abuse because the perpetrator uh, more, uh, give more than the victim that uh, most to do. So other uh, type of abuse is the social abuse. In social abuse, it's more like the perpetrator uh, want to uh, make alone, feel alone to the victim. So when the victim feel that it's alone in the world, so uh, have more, um, have no confidence, have no, doesn't feel safe 
with uh, around him because the pre the proprietor must uh, separate the victim or his family or uh, or friends. So it's a big abuse that we most you know, and also uh, the social abuse maybe that proprietor made a a, a social network like uh, write uh, things that it's uh, involved to the victim and make feel a uh, low confidence. Other is the sexual abuse. As, uh, sexual abuse is, uh, like the word say, is any contact that perpetrator has with the victim and it's no, uh, it's no okay with the victim. So it's uh, any action that is sexual, uh, a rape, uh, the perpetrator may have the victim uh, sex with the other person and this is a type of abuse. Now is the talking about the some cares that we can have to the to the violence, the domestic violence. And um, well, speaking uh, about the uh, causes, we have uh, that domestic violence is also known as uh, domestic abuse. In also known as intimate partner violence, and why? Um, abusers, um, uh, the, the main cause of domestic violence is that the abusers may feel the need to control their partner. They have maybe cause problem with their self-esteem, maybe they have extreme jealousy, or they can't control their anger or their, or, or their emotions. Or they simply can feel their, they feel inferior from their partner because of their social economic uh, background. Uh, there are some cases in which the traditional beliefs where the uh, woman is inferior from the from the man, it, it's there are studies that that's one of the main causes because of the domestic violence. And others, they are simply um, uh, believe that domestic violence was accepted in their, in their um, growing, growing behavior, and they are just raised in their family where they have domestic violence. The, part, uh, the partner domination may take the form of uh, emotional, physical, and sexual abuse as we already have spoken. And uh, another main cause is the, the interaction of the situational individual factors. Um, they have many, they, um, there are many studies that have seen violence often, or they may have been victims themselves, some so some abuser acknowledge growing up having been abused as a child. Um, in these cases, children who have been witness or are victim of violence uh, may learn to believe that violence is a reasonable way to resolve conflicts between the people. And now uh, we're going to talk about. Well, at this moment, I'm going to explain or say the solutions about the violence in the, in the family. Uh, I think that it, this is the most important point, the topic, because we, we have to know what, what are the solutions and uh, find a way to get out of this violence. Uh, I searched in the internet that the violence in the family is more common in Latin America because uh, in, in Europe, these cases or this problem, they are not very common, but also they, they do this. And they say in the, in the internet that the most uh, case or the most reason that the violence is in Latin America, they say that it's about the education, because they say that, that our education here in Latin America is very, is very, not like the Europe education and I find some steps or some uh, cases that say that 
the first step that you have to do or, or we have to do with, with a person that is uh, doing this violence is to make them know or accept the, that they can accept the, that they are doing this because in some cases like the women uh, they tolerate or they accept the violence of the men and, and this woman don't say nothing because she say that she loves the men and but they have to say or they have to uh, accept the help from other people. And the other step, the, the second step is to is to have a therapy with a with a person that knows a lot of about the problem, like a doctor, like a psychology, because this this person can help us to to super this problem and to have very solution in our life. In the third case is that we have to we have to be a very communication or to have a very communication with all our families and to say them that we are we are in this problem. They can help us and they can find a solution for us. Uh, in my in my personal opinion that I think that this problem can have a solution. Uh, it's very easy to resolve because uh, the, I, I, I agree with the, with the internet because I think that if we want to eradicate this problem, we have to educate our children, we have to educate the, the, the young people, the teenagers, uh, because in some cases the, the children see this type of uh, aggressive in the, in the TV, in the programs, and they can learn this and when they see this, they want to practice or they want to do the same thing like the TV. And another uh, important point, uh, this is about the community, but because uh, there are some three, three things very important. Uh, the first is know the signs. We have to know the signs we, we can, where we see the people. We have to recognize that, that these people or this person is uh, having this problem we can like, the signs can be very various can be like marching our in the body can be the the personality of the people uh, because some people is very happy and the other day is very sad we can we can as, assume that they are having this problem and the other, the other tip so is to get your community educated. Uh, like I, I have been saying, because the, the schools is very, is very important in our life. And the cheers and last one that I find is to get your community organized. Because uh, there's a story that in, in some cases or in some, in some communities in the, in the United States, say that when the community is very organized or when in the community are very very good information or very good communication, they they don't have cases of violence family because they are very friendly and they can live or can tolerate some things in, in with the with the person in their community. And this moment my my classmate uh, Belen is going to continue with the with the exposition about the violent family. Uh, well, now I want to show uh, some activities that we made in this campaign. And uh, the first uh, is a motivation speaking, uh, like my partner said, the information to the victims and the society is the most important to identify the abuse and the domestic violence. So uh, this motivation speaking, we must know uh, in two days, in the month in uh, February. So this uh, talking, uh, this information and this uh, motivation speaking during for two hours. The other is in, uh, in, uh, in July, that is a, a movie that represents uh, why uh, we want to know about the violence, uh, domestic violence, because 
the most uh, things that we can see and um, most impact is the uh, image pictures, uh, movies that talk about this problem. So we want to know that these movies uh, made a create a confidence and information that the victims uh, know. This uh, the during time to these movies must be one and a half hours. Uh, in Argos, we have the the schedules and talking with real victims that suffer that uh, domestic violence. Talk about uh, how they feeling, uh, how can what they do for uh, improve that uh, domestic violence. And this during like uh, 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 twenty uh, five minutes, uh, we want to the victims talk with. Uh, possible victims that we recognize we during the last months. I want to the victim talk about this. Uh, other thing that we want to know is talk for the parent because uh, we have the victim, but we must do uh, effort to uh, resolve the problem with the premature. Premature like maybe most the parent or the mother or uh, the brother. So we must to talk about him, uh, talk with them and where, uh, see what is the problem with that uh, kid. Other is in, in October, we must uh, a therapy presentation. In therapy presentation, we want to the victims or the people that have received this uh, campaign, uh, talk about what, uh, what they uh, know about the domestic violence, uh, what is the new knowledge that have, um, that is the most important. Now, uh, uh, the conclusion that my partner has. Uh, in conclusion, domestic fa uh, family violence is affecting a lot of people, uh, and women and kids in, in more percent. So it's important that we educate our uh, our kids uh, at the in the way that they can show their, their education and when they grow up be able to to treat another how they want to be treated and that they be able to have a family uh, full of values, uh, ethic and and moral that that's all. Thank you very much.